So, Tyler, let me ask you this. Uh, potential trade candidates. Who do you think the Browns, Andrew Berry, might be targeting? So, some names that Mary Kay Cabot, your colleague, has mentioned, uh, Brandon Cooks and Elijah Moore are the ones that really stand out as far as on her list. Um, first off, with Brandon Cooks, we know the contract is not very favorable. It, it's just not. But the thing with Cooks is you can redo that contract similar to what Andrew Barry did when he acquired Amari Cooper, and you can turn a good portion of that into a signing bonus. So, with him do $18 million this year, I think he could reduce that because Brandon Cooks for 2024 doesn't have any guaranteed salary. So maybe you work out a mini extension along those lines if you acquire a guy like Brandon Cooks. And I think you could do it for a reasonable price. I think you could get him for maybe a pick 98 or even a fourth round pick. And I think the Browns would explore that possibility to reunite him with Deshaun Watson, Elijah Moore. I mean, Dave, Elijah Moore is my dream if the Browns can find a way to add him. He's on a rookie contract first and foremost. He's only going to be making $2.4 million this year. And he's everything you want. He can play outside. He can play inside. And he just he brings speed to the position. He brings really good route running. He has a knack for getting open. Didn't have a great year this past year. Uh, for the Jets, he had some issues with Robert Sala, the head coach. Um, complaining about quarterback Zach Wilson, and it was just a mess with the Jets this year. But if the Jets are still looking to move Elijah Moore, and I think they might because Elijah Moore really is not happy just with the front office in general, and there's a lot of um, turmoil there, I would look for the Browns to make a move there. But one move, one player I want to bring up, and we actually brought it up when we discussed um, a possible Greg Newsom swap, um, I believe a couple sh- couple shows ago, and that is Jerry Judy from the Broncos. It was reported by Dan Graziano of ESPN that the Broncos, they're not ignoring calls on Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, and KJ Hamler. If the Browns can go get themselves, Jerry Judy would be a great pickup. I think it would cost pick 42. So if you're comfortable giving up pick 42 for Jerry Judy, who again is another guy on a rookie contract, he would be a great addition to the wide receiver room. So those are the three names I would watch. And either way, they're going to be really upgrading that wide receiver position. But I think it's more likely that they're going to do it via trade and the draft as opposed to this free agency class. Yeah, I would keep an eye. The way 42 for Judy might make sense if they don't do anything in free agency with one of the lower to middle tier wide receivers. I would listen out for that uh, potential with 42 and Jerry Judy without question.